good morning guys so i'm so excited because we got another letter from eddie the entomologist so let's see what insects he wants us to study today are you ready it says dear eits which remember stands for entomologist in training are you ready for the next insect this one it's is much bigger than a ladybug i'm sure you will do some great research so here's our clues are you ready this insect is green this insect has long legs this insect can jump high in the air can you guess what it is your friend eddie so it's got to be green have long legs and jump high in the air you have a guess in your head all right let's see if you're ready are you ready it's got strong back legs got strong jaws to eat lots of grass it is a grasshopper that's right so we're going to be studying about grasshoppers today so we're going to read a nonfiction book that's going to give us lots of facts and information about grasshoppers all right let's get ready for our research today from grasshoppers our first page as the heading, remember the heading is the big print at the top that tells us what's gonna be on the page that says, what are grasshoppers? Grasshoppers have powerful legs. These insects are super jumpers. And also on this page, you can see that it's labeling. Remember the label's gonna tell you the name of the parts, the legs right here. Grasshoppers have short antenna. They use these to smell and feel. And you can say this grasshopper is actually not green. Some of them are not. Grasshoppers have eardrums on their abdomens. So that's like we have eardrums inside of our ears. Their eardrums are on their body. So you can see it very carefully right there, the eardrum. And the actual size, this is the actual size of a Carolina, Carolina grasshopper. So they are much bigger than a ladybug. Hoppers at home. Many grasshoppers make homes in forests and fields. They are busy during the day. Most grasshoppers eat plants. Some eat other insects. And it says the favorite food of the grasshopper is alfalfa. Grasshoppers rub their legs against their wings to make sounds. This is how they talk. So what they do is they take that wing and their leg, and it's kind of like playing a violin. They rub it together to make that sound. And that's how they communicate. And you can see it's labeling the part of the wing and the leg. Thousands of grasshoppers may swarm. They eat crops and bother farmers. So the thing about grasshoppers is they can be pests like the aphids. They get together and when there's so many of them eating in one place, it can actually like destroy big crops. And so farmers have to try to take care of them to keep them out of their crops. Growing up. Female grasshoppers lay eggs in summer. Nymphs break out of eggs in spring. So you have an egg, then you have a nymph when you're growing up, and here's the female grasshopper. Nymphs molt into adults. Soon they can fly and jump high. A grasshopper's lifespan is only about a year, so they only live for one year. And you can see here's where he's molted out of his skin into an adult. So this book has kind of a picture um glossary so it gives us the name the definition but it also gives us a picture so we can see it so the abdomen is the back parts of an insect's body remember we have a head a thorax and an abdomen the malt means to shed their skin so that they can grow antennas remember are the, the feelers on top of their head that help them um, see and get sense senses from around them and the nymphs are young insects and crops are plants grown by farmers. And a swarm is means that they gather all in one place. All right, so I think you guys are ready to complete your insect journal for the day. So let's look in Seesaw. All right, so here is your insect journal for today. And of course, it's gonna be about grasshoppers because we learned about grasshoppers. So up at the top, you're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna be labeling its part. See, they're pointing to which part of the grasshopper? The antenna, very good. And they're pointing to this part of the grasshopper, which is the those back legs. Remember, those back legs are so important because that's how they hop and get around. And then this part of the grasshopper is pointing to that big part at the bottom of his body, which is called the abdomen. Very good. Because remember, you have the head, you have he has a little bitty chest for a thorax, and then he has a big abdomen. 
And then down at the bottom, you're just going to tell me three facts about grasshoppers. Remember, you can tell me anything that you learned. You can talk about their legs. You can talk about their bodies. You can talk about how they come together in swarms. You can talk about how they destroy crops. Any fact that you can think of about a grasshopper, okay? All right, I'm so excited to hear about your research. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.